I am really excited to work, uh, play with you tonight. I've got three different cards I want to make, and they all use the Pastel Holiday card um, card kit. So we'll give a we'll give a couple of minutes for people to get on. I'm just going to gather a couple more supplies. Actually, I'll gather those after. They take up kind of a lot of room. Thank you, Ben. Has so everybody got their Christmas shopping done? I have some done, but I'm nowhere near finished. I have a lot left to do, but but I have some. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Thanks for joining tonight. All right. I think we are gonna, are you ready for me yet, Darren? Go ahead. Do you want me to wait a minute? Okay, I'm going to go ahead. You're doing well. I'm glad to hear it. I am doing great. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera view so that we can get started. Okay, let's see if we can. I always have to kind of play with where I am located. So give me just a second to make sure we're good to go. Okay, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time going over the kit just because I did of that last week, pretty much. I will go through it super quickly though. So this is the pastel holiday uh, kit. I think it comes up just under Christmas kit, Darren, doesn't it? Oh, it comes up under pastel Christmas? Oh, either one comes up on the site. Okay, so you, as long as you have that in there, you'll be good. And Darren will also uh, provide a link so that you can um, have a link to all of the products that I use today. Okay, so this is basically just a quick overview of what we've got. So it comes with this cute little cookie pin. You can see it's a little cookie sheet with little cookies on it. Adorable. Donna says hello. Hi Donna, how are you? Watch the big screen. Ooh, the big so screen. What was that? So she won't be okay, well I'm glad to know you're here, Donna. Okay, I kind of, I've played with this kit already, so I'm kind of having to re-piece it together a little bit, so bear with me for a second. So you've got your conversation clippings. You can see you've got black and white, two sheets of each. Love these. We will use these on one of our cards today. Um, you've got your Santa's Visit die. I should probably show you the stamp first. You can see my stamp is well-loved. I've used it a million times already. And then we've got the little stencil that fits right over the Christmas tree. And that just gives you that much more that you can do with it. You've got the mask and you've got the stencil. This we won't use tonight because I used it um, last week. And then you've got, I love this set. We will be using this one tonight. This I love the other one too though. This one is all aboard. You've got your stamps, you've got your dies. And then you've got, oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna show these because I know I'll forget if I don't do it now. You've got these really pretty, I love this mix of sequins. It's just a really pretty, um, a pretty mix. And then you've got these little beads and all these pretty little pastel colors. And then it, um, we've got card panels. There's four different panels. You get two of each. I think you can kind of see a little glimpse of them. And we are going to use two of those tonight. And then you get a selection of cardstock. We're going to use some of this today. Isn't this pretty? I love this paper. I, when I saw it, I was like, yep, gotta have that. Gotta use that tonight. And then you've got this really pretty gold. It has a little bit of a texture to it. And then you've got a selection of um, layering cardstock. And I'll just kind of quickly go through that. So then, last but not least, you've got the pastel paper pad. I've kind of got pieces all over mine. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't toss them all too far from where I'm at. Because <laughs> I was kind of putting that on top of them and I always lose something when I do this. But you can kind of see, you've got two each of all of the designs, double-sided. And we're going to use some of that today. So. 
now that I've just kind of quickly, very quickly shown you all of that, let's get started so that we have time to do all three of our cards. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little mini slim line, and I did a lot of prep work on this one just because it's a lot, it's a lot of um, time to do any fussy cutting or embossing and die cutting when I have as much as I do. But you know, you know what I'm doing, so I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. Okay, so this paper is from the Pastel Greetings paper pad, which is in the kit. We're going to use some of that. I'm just gonna set all of this aside for a second, but I've got all of these fun little pieces that we're going to layer. And I yeah, miss, hi Tina, how are you? So if you are not really a fan of coloring, you're going to like this card a lot. But if you hate fussy cutting too, you might, you might not like it as much. <laughs> but the fussy cutting on this was really not too detailed. It was pretty easy, but, uh, doing well. oh, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm just going to get all the pieces where they're going to go so that I can keep track of what goes where. So bear with me for just one sec. How did you get the silver on the train? Silver? It's white. I embossed it. Okay, that's cool. I, I stamped it on black paper and embossed it in white. Okay. We'll go over what I did for each one as we go along. This goes to this. Okay, sorry. I was a little confused for a second. Gotta make sure I put the right wheels that they all fit properly. I feel like this one is that one and this one is this one. And, okay. So let me walk you through what we did. I just had to get everything where it goes. So I went ahead and I stamped let me get the stamp set out too, just in case I want to refer to it. Hi, how you doing? I don't want to call you a misfit. <laughs> what was that? I'm not either, but we're glad you're here. You're in good company. Okay, so I stamped. The, um, is that the engine? Is that what we call that? Yes. Okay. So I stamped that on white paper. And actually, I should show you this too. I stamped it on white paper again, but I didn't have a red that really matched the red in this paper pack because it's red, but it has a lot, a lot of pink in it. But it's not quite pink. So it was kind of a weird color for me to uh, try to match cardstock to from my collection. Monique Leslie. Oh, Monique. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. And um, so what I did is I, of course, I've moved it. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I've got it. Look, it shouldn't be too far from me. I moved a bunch of stuff right before I started. And of course, I moved what I didn't want to move. Okay. So I just took some Simon Hurley ink because Love Struck is a very blue red and it does have a lot of pink in it. And so I just made my own cardstock. So don't forget that you can do that if you don't have something that matches just right. Check your inks as well. So I just stamped it in that and then I fussy cut it out of the um, inked up paper. And then I stamped it again on black paper and embossed it with alabaster embossing ink. Now, I would have done all of that live, but it just was a lot of steps. So I just wanted to have that all done, especially the fussy cutting. So let's piece this one together first. I'm going to take my Barely Art glue. And I also, I did it on the white as well because I still want that shadow, that outline around everything. And so this way, it just kind of, it gives me a foundation to glue everything to. And it just kind of pulls everything together. You'll see what I mean when we, as we layer it. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
layer that here and you can see the top but I just kind of cut straight across and it didn't matter because the, there's going to be a piece over the top of that. So you can be a little bit lazier in your fussy cutting if you know what you do want to use. See this one has the little, I don't know what they are, but the little things that stick up, the little smokestacks or that's the smokestack. I don't know what those are, but you know what? <laughs> you get the gist of what I'm saying, hopefully. Engine part. Engine parts. Very good, Darren. That was very technical. Okay, hopefully I'm not down too low on the screen. Let me look. I think I'm okay. I will move up a little, though. Okay, so now I went ahead and I even cut out the window. And when I cut them out, I cut them in just a little bit, um, or I mean out, I go to the very edge on the layering pieces. So you can see there's just a tiny, tiniest bit of black because I don't want to cut on the other side of the emboss because I want to make sure I'm going to cover everything here. And I'm going to slow down a little bit because I just... You know, when you have one of those days where you're just rushing around. I had one of those kinds of days. And I still didn't get everything done I wanted to get done. So now I'm going to calm down. <laughs> so hopefully I'll make more sense. Okay. So there is our train. Let me hold it up a little bit. And I just love the way that it kind of brings out um, more details in your train. I didn't color it, and yet I think it looks just fine. I think it's fun. And it has more dimension because we've got all those layers on it. And we're actually going to add, I went ahead and I did this, I just stamped it on green paper and cut the whole thing out of green because for this little detail, I didn't think it needed to be fussy cut. And to be honest with you, there was no way I was gonna try fussy cutting that. Don't judge. <laughs> Okay, some things are worth fussy cutting. Some things don't really need it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so now it's all dressed up, ready like for the holidays. Like that looks like piping. The white? It does kind of look like piping, huh? Okay, so now I'm missing a piece. It's this piece. Okay, so now we're going to put, did the same thing with all of this. I stamped it on white, blue, red, and black. Tina says you woke up from a nap and thought it was tomorrow. Oh, Tina, that means that you had a pretty good nap. Don't you think? <laughs> okay, so. We've got all of our terrain is on there. And now we'll add the wheels. And because I didn't want to fuss with two, three little wheels, I cut it out. There's a little line here you can see. And I just cut that bottom border too so that it was all easier to keep track of. I'm all about making things easier. And I just need to scooch it down a little. There we go. And then we'll just put a little roof on there. This one was a lot faster, huh? Doesn't have quite so many layers. Definitely, definitely not as involved as the engine was. Okay, so now we've got our second little car. And now we can do our last little guy. Yep, the caboose. And you could add more if you wanted to of the little cars. And actually, I cut out some presents. Let me see if I've got them up here. And you can add those if you want, but I'm not sure I want to. I, I'll look and see after we get it on the card. 
but um but that is an option again I didn't cut it out of white and that might be what's bugging me about it so we'll see I, th I think with the green on there I don't know that we need it for what I'm doing because our background paper is is pretty busy so we'll let that be more of a star okay so now we'll just add our little wheels and our roof and we will also add the windows in just a second So when I get crazy and um, start talking really fast, you can slow me down because I know if I'm talking too much, then sometimes I think it makes you guys feel like you can't talk. So please feel free. So now we've got our little windows. And I love that they'll look a little more defined because we embossed the, them on the black. And I didn't bother cutting them out individually. They're really close together, so that was kind of a nice perk. And wear your glasses when you do this, unlike me, so you can see where to put it, <laughs> so you can make sure everything's lined up right. Okay, so now we can put our little um, Christmas garland on there. I kind of want to line it up with that one. Let's look and see about where that falls. I don't even need that to do that. Let's do it. That's close enough. All right. Let's see if we like the presents better now that we've got the green on there. Oh, I don't mind the presents. What do you guys think? with or without the gifts. And then I'm actually, instead of putting the little piece, there is actually a little stamp that you can have to connect the cars, but I thought it would be fun to just put a little bow. So let's get all of that on a card. You still have time to respond. Darren, you're gonna have to tell me what the vote is. With, okay, with it is. I want to point out that on this kit, this kit is $69.99, but if you were to buy it piece by piece, just the stamp sets alone come out to be, how much was it, Darren? $69.99. No, how much was it with just the, um, we had it all figured out. For just the stamp sets alone, wasn't it like 80? 85 you've got all of this and I'm just going to show you it comes with all of this you've got the 10 sheets of cardstock you've got the uh the pearl cardstock and then you've got like I said the Santa's visit stamp set the dies the train uh all aboard stamp set the dies the pastel pearls the sequins the conversation clippings, the card panels, you get um, the enamel pin, you get the paper pad, and then you've got this, the two stencils. Did I even show you the second stencil? It comes with this stencil too. I don't think I showed that to you. And then you've got card bases, and I didn't show you those, and you get a stick and stamp mat. I didn't show you that either. You get a stick and stamp mat. So all of that together, we kind of, um, just the things that I knew how, cause I wasn't even sure how to price these exactly. And I didn't price out the paper. And uh, what was it, Darren? It's about double. It was like, I want to say it was like almost double and it probably would be with everything anyway. So this is one heck of a good deal. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you know, I can understand that. I can totally see that. Okay, I forgot. 
I actually have a different plan for this. I was gonna cut it down and then I changed my mind. So I'm gonna use the circle foundation, guys. Yeah, really good, huh? And I am going to use my biggest foundation circle to just cut part of a circle out. So, let me quickly die cut that. Thankfully, my machine is right behind me. And now, let's set that aside. And then I've just cut some cardstock. I've got my mini slimline base. So let's, let's see where we're at with this. So I think first we'll go ahead and put our circle on so we know where everything's gonna go. And I kind of want it close to the top, and it doesn't matter that I've got this line down here because we're going to have a border along the bottom. Anything that gives me just a little leeway is my favorite. <laughs> okay. So now this cute little stamp set also has a little track and a die, thankfully. So we're just gonna put a little train track on there. I'm guessing where to put it, so hopefully it lines up okay. <laughs> I am live, so anything's possible, right? And then let's see how that works. Get it that you got a kid during Black Friday sale. Yes, please. Oh, that's great, Tina. Oh, that Black Friday sale was something else, wasn't it? Okay, and then we'll just put our little bows in there. Push it up a little bit. Yep. Is that better? Right on the edge of the oh, thank you for letting me know. Darren keeps me straight. It's a big job. All right, so let's put this guy on and then we'll put this guy on. Just a tiny bit. And then we'll put the last car on and then we'll add the little gifts to the back of that. Yeah, this is so cute. Isn't this a fun set? This is one of my favorite sets from the holidays. I just think one thing that's really fun about this set that I should point out, oops, I needed more glue on that, is that because the train doesn't have the... Um, the what are they called the garland on it um permanently it's an additional stamp this this train could be used for birthdays it could be used for a new baby it's not just um limited to the holidays and i don't know about you but i like to get as much bang out of my stamp sets as possible all right, I'm sitting here looking for the glue dot and I don't know if there's even one on here. Let's see. Don't forget to put the pin back in glue. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate that. He's right, I will lose it if I don't do it right away. It's so funny, I've never put so much value on a little pin before. 
Donna says she already got a Black Friday order. Yay. Ooh, Donna. Was that fun to open? <laughs> Did you get to open it yet or is it for Christmas? There were so many good deals. I took advantage of it to uh, to do some gift buying. Um, we've got these friends that have two um, daughters about, I think they're about 12 and 13. And they are into crafts. They enjoy them. And so that was fun to get them a few things. They're the sweetest girls. Okay, so we've got our presents on there. And before I stamp this, let's check something out really quick. Putting my pin back in, Darren. I want to put a sentiment on there and I'm just wanting to make sure I've left myself enough room that I can read which direction it is. Hang on. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I am thinking... I want to do it directly on to the paper, but I'm not sure I can because I've got... I think I don't have enough room unless I put it way up at the top and I think that's going to look too weird. Unless I put it here. What was that? Donna said to open it. My favorite is a candy cane squeaky clean. Oh, I don't have that. Is that really, really, really yummy? I love squeaky clean. Cinnamon Hearts is still my favorite one, though. But I have not tried that one. I may have to get some. All right, let's see if... Hang on, I'm just checking to see what I want to put this thing on. I may want to put it on... A die. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just cut it out. I'm just gonna stamp it and cut it out. It's quicker. And we've got those last two cards. The last two cards don't take as long as this one. So I've got this little piece of cardstock. And this is the stick and stamp mat. So the nice thing is I can just put my, my magnets aside for a minute because it sticks to this mat, you can see. And it fits right in my stamping platform. Benny says the blue slushy squeaky clean is your ultimate favorite, but love the Christmas scent as well. That blue slush was really ta tasty smelling for sure. But yeah, I love them all. I really do. I just, I think it would be fun. Now, I'm actually going to use my, my magnets. Just, I don't need them for the paper. I just don't want the mat to move. So I'm going to put the magnets back. But as far as the paper goes, I don't suspect the paper is going to go anywhere. Let's see, I had it down here. Yeah, the candy cane one just came out. Is there gingerbread as well? There, there is a gingerbread one. Okay, let's see. Let's see how straight I put it on there, because I don't know that I did. <laughs> Knowing me, it probably is not. But let's see if we can fake it. We might be able to. Okay. Just use our little our little block. I'm telling you, this is just an acrylic block that I don't use. I mean, I use my stamping platform all the time now, so I just added felt to it, and that does the trick for me. I like Sour Patch too. I like I said, I like them all. So it's pretty hard to <laughs> to say one I don't really love. But I I totally uh, 
squeaky clean. I love the cinnamon hearts. Because I love cinnamon bears. I don't know about you guys. Tell me, in other places in the in the States, are cinnamon bears hard to find? Because for whatever reason, here in Texas, I cannot find them anywhere. Last time I got some, I had to order them from Amazon because they just don't carry them in the stores here for some reason. I just thought that was so weird. see. I want to smell the rose now. <laughs> I have to know what I'm missing on, missing out Michelle on. Michelle says hi. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Michelle, I thought of you today because I finally sent your card. It only took me, hmm, let's not say, but yeah, I sent it off today, so it should be to you. I think they said it was either Monday or Wednesday. I can't remember which one, but I would guess probably Wednesday. But I did finally do it, dang it. <laughs> okay. Which candy? Uh, is it the Sour Patch one? Monique, I think I like that. No worries. Well, thanks for being patient with me, Michelle. I do appreciate it. I think it's funny that the post office hours are so early. I think most people Jelly need it to be Jelly open. Beans. Jelly beans. Oh, that one does smell good, too. And of course, I really like the orange one, the creamsicle one. Okay, let's add a little bit of bling and we'll call this good. I think we need to put a little, there's some little berries in here. I'm thinking maybe we either put some sequins. We might just not worry about the berries. We'll see. Let's let's put this on and then I can think about it. Do you create your cards kind of in an order? I pretty much, I'll put my card on the card base. And then after I do that, it's easier for me to look at it again and decide how to bling it up a little bit. Okay, so... We want to use a few of these. Let's look and see what we got here. I'm thinking some of the silver ones might be cute. Aren't those pretty? I just love this set of sequins. Says, yep, gotta have bling. Oh, for sure. Especially at Christmas time. All right, do we want to do that or let's see what we think of them on the garland. I'm not feeling that. I think they get lost. I think let's just do this. Ooh, like add spray to like the chroma mist. And an art made them a long time ago. Mmm. Oh, sprays, just, just clear sprays that you just spray on your card. Is that what you mean? I'd be all down for that. The trick would be is if they have any kind of an oil in them. No, with shimmer, she said. Ooh, with shimmer. Ooh, I'm liking that idea. And color. That sounds fun. I'll pass that along. I think I need to be a little less stingy with my glue this time. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't want to put too much glue because I don't want it to be bleeding out from the bottom of it. But Oh, I could do that. Let's see. She 
yelled at because it was all caps. <laughs> I hear you, Tina. Let's see. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should be going backwards them. because of them. Oh, I gotta leave those there. What was that? The train flew and it's supposed to be heading backwards. Thank you, Darren. It's a physics thing. Yeah, I, I'm not really much of a physics person, huh? <laughs> I work with engineers, that's why I have not think of it. Yeah. Penny said that looks cute. If you really want to, oh, thank you, Penny. If you really want to get technical, I don't think the train's going to be doing too well if it's only held together with little ties. <laughs> but it's cute. But it's a representation. That's true. Okay. There is our card. Well, All right. Let's... It is a cute train. I love this set. I don't think you will regret that for a minute. Okay, let's move on to the next card. And like I said, the next couple cards are um, not going to take near as long. So we're going to make use. Yeah, that was a clever idea, Tina. I like this, the, um, the idea you had for the steam as well. Okay. Getting all the sequins out of the way. Who did? Tina. Thanks, Tina. Okay, so let's do this card next. And I just spilled all <laughs> my the bag that I just put all those sequins in tipped over and um, I just lost almost all the ones I just put in. I guess that's what I get for not zipping it up, huh? What a dork I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna scooch those and I will clean them up after. And look, I did push it closed that time. <laughs> So I wanted to make use of this beautiful pearly paper. I just think that is gorgeous. So I thought it would be fun to just do a quick, a quick um, card using this. And I'm going to use some, this is just my embossing, what is it, embossing buddy? I think that's what it's called. And I think we will go ahead and I'm a little, I'm not going to do pixie spray because I don't want the embossing powder we're going to use on this to stick to the spots that the pixie spray might um, leave behind a residue. Does that make sense? So let's see. Let's put it on our stick and stamp mat. And that's one of the things that makes this mat amazing. And let's see which is my cleanest embossing. This one looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to push. Ah! I didn't do that very well, did I? Okay, that's why the paper has two sides. Okay. Now, I think it's on there securely. <laughs> And I'm just going to push through the stencil. Yeah, this this cardstock is gorgeous. I love it. This baby pink color. Mm. Lovely. Okay. So now I just realized that I did not use the embossing buddy on this side. So we're just kind of batting a, batting a thousand here. But let's see what happens. <laughs> it might be interesting. We may be doing it again, but let's just try it out for fun. And I'm going to use rose gold. I want to do a tone on tone. Rose gold is one of my favorite Burtis Monroe embossing powders. I think it's really pretty. And I will tell you right now that the camera will not do it justice. But trust me, it is absolutely gorgeous. Kathy yeah, loves the rose gold. Yeah, isn't it pretty, Kathy? So the nice thing about it being tone on tone is if I do have any residue, it, it might kind of camouflage that. And then I can see one little spot I need to get. But other than that, I think we did pretty good. All right, let's heat that up.
The sound effects? The sound effects you're making. What one did I do? A few of them. I didn't even notice that it was. That's funny. Well, I'm glad I entertained you. <laughs> that was any strays can be snow. There you go. I like that. Snow is a good, a good cover up. There it goes. All right, so it's it's subtle, but that's okay because a lot of this is also going to be covered up because I just wanted to add a little bit of texture to my background, and I like that. But let's do the next part. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this really pretty wreath card panel from the kit, and we're just going to do a really quick, really quick way to just add some color to it. I'm just going to use, I'm using the Minty Fresh ink from uh, Simon Hurley and I hope that this works. I need to buy more of these um, these blending tools. I love them but mine are all kind of they're all kind of ready to be replaced. So I'm just um, kind of patting it. It does. It is like magic. I actually um, used to think stamping was well, to be honest with you, I think I've told this story a million times, so bear with me if you've heard it, but I started stamping with just some really cheap stamps from the grocery store like a decade ago at least, probably almost two decades. Well, yeah, two decades. Anyway, <laughs> um, and I used to get so frustrated because I was using alphabets and I would get the corners because they weren't cut down at all. They weren't trimmed at all. So they were, you know, the stamp, the, the image that you wanted was in the middle of the rubber and then there was all that extra. And so I just would get frustrated with it. And I was like, I don't understand what the Dillos was stamping. So then I went to a, a party somebody was having and they did embossing and they had better stamps, of course. And I was like, uh, Oh, this is what stamping is about. This is what people are getting so excited about. And I never looked back. I I was pretty hooked after that. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of patting it on there, adding some color. I might grab a different color for the holly leaves. But I don't want to go. In fact, I think I'm going to color them, uh, the mint green too. But then we'll add a little bit more depth in a minute with a different color. But I don't want to overwhelm it because I want to keep it kind of in the lighter tones. And I like this just loose coloring that you don't have to freak out if you are not in the lines. That's my kind of quick color. I do actually enjoy coloring though. But I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea. 
Now the card panels and the conversation clippings and the sequins and the um, beads, those I believe are exclusive to the kit. I don't think you can get those any other way. Oh, and all the cardstock uh, selection together, um, that is something that you, that's exclusive to the kit also. So do you guys celebrate more, um, we're, we're talking to our son. Our son has been dating this really sweet girl and um, we were just discussing holiday plans and they're going, uh, you know, her parents versus us and how all of that would go down. And this is kind of new for us. And uh, I was telling him, yeah, Christmas Eve, that's, that's the day I like to do up. Christmas Day... I like to just relax. So I guess these could be poinsettias. If you look at them, they're kind of fun because you can either use them as holly or you could really kind of give it more of a poinsettia look. I went with the holly, but if you want to go with the poinsettias, knock yourself out. Create your own ending. Okay, so I think we're good with that color. Let me just grab a little bit of Tropical Tango. Sorry, Darren, to throw one at you. And I know you do. You're a very patient man. And I'm just going to add just a little bit here and there. Just so it's a little less one note. So do you guys do up Christmas Eve more or Christmas Day more? Like, do you do you like your family dinners and stuff? Which day do you do them on more? Okay, I like that. Now, let's add, I had two ideas for this that we can look at. Let's see, we could either use some of these sequins for the berries. Oops, got the wrong color. Which we could maybe even do a mix of a couple of things, but let's let's grab a few more of those out. I guess I could have just left those other ones out, huh? Yeah, she said both, lol. And Fanny said navigating the holidays with two grown daughters. We have spouses. We just find a common time and get with it. You just do what? Find a common time. Find a common time. Yeah, I guess that's just kind of how it is. <laughs> We're, we're excited. And that says you like both days. Each has its perks. Isn't that true? I think, I love the, to be honest with you, I love Christmas. I mean, it is definitely, hands down, my favorite holiday. But I am, Darren will attest to this, the tree is down, New Year's Day. It does not go beyond that for me. But I have it up on the day after Thanksgiving. You know, I start a little early, so. But I kind of start getting a little bit um, claustrophobic towards the end. Once Christmas is over, I'm done. I am done. And I will be waiting for the following year. <laughs> Michelle said, she has Christmas Eve at her house. Christmas Day at her brother's house. Same cast of characters. Ah, I love that. You know, my family doesn't live near us, so it's just. It's just our little family, so most holidays are pretty, pretty quiet, and that's okay. But um, when we lived closer to family, my sister used to always host the Christmas Eve dinner. And that, my family always did Christmas Eve bigger than they did Christmas Day. And it's always been kind of nice because it doesn't typically conflict with the opposite family um, of the spouses so I just figure okay well let's carry on the tradition Donna R does it's Christmas Day these days before mother-in-law passed they'd have a Christmas Eve party with a Yankee gift exchange what's a Yankee gift exchange Yankee swap 
Is that the one where you can keep it or pass it yeah. on your turn? Okay. We um we were talking about doing that one where you have the big ball of saran wrap and you have little presents and treats and stuff wrapped up in it. We haven't ever done that and it looked kind of fun. I think it would be right up Benji's aisle. Yes, you use oven wrap, oven mitts to unwrap it, so it's a challenge. All right, I'm trying to decide if I want to go this route or if we want to just emboss them. What do you guys think? I think you like that? Well, first thing we're going to do, let's do this first. So I'm just taking more of my foundation circles. I've got sequins stuck to the tape. And... Um, we're just going to use them to cut out the wreath. And I think it's perfectly fine that it's not going to be defined all the way. And we probably won't have time for that third card. And that's okay. I can tell you what I was going to do. In fact, actually, I'm going to make time for that because I, I know what we can do. What was that, honey? And that's it. You swiped them off. I did swipe them off. I, I had to do it to see what I wanted to do. Maybe we'll try both because I can always cover up the other. Okay. Kind of looks like a CD right now, huh? <laughs> but. Okay, maybe I don't like that. <laughs> Let's see, let me check something out real, really quick. We've got that, we can put another piece said, there. I saw this cute one that you tie ribbons to gifts and pull the ribbon through a plate. All pretty, and if people pull the ribbon, you cannot tell what it's tied to until you pull it. Oh, that sounds fun. We might have to try that game out. Do you know the name of it? Said, gift price, but it was twenty bucks. We got some pretty funny gifts. A couple gifts would be appeared the previous year. Oh, Donna, we know how that goes, huh, Darren? Yeah, we had that book. That yes, we we yeah. bought a Ricky Martin when he wasn't cool anymore for a while. Um, like when he kind of fell off the the planet for a while, and we had one that was like a Saved by the by the Bell book. It was like Zach's Magic or something. We, yeah, we kept bringing the same books. And oh, then that. everybody could figure out which one it was. So the next year we bought like five of them <laughs> so that there were five of them circulating so that people couldn't avoid them. It was fun. The name of that book, Shannon, was that old Zach Magic. Yeah, that old Zach Magic. So funny. That was a bad book. Um... You know, what's not to like about getting treats? You know what I mean? <laughs> Michelle said she doesn't know what's called on the TikTok video. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't live with that CD looking wreath. It just, it just wasn't working for me. So we're doing a quick fuzzy cut. It's okay. I thought it would be. I really did. But, you know, sometimes you get an idea and you think it's going to be all right. And then... Michelle said the strand ball is super competitive. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Darren and I are probably the most competitive people that will be at the party. <laughs> I have to do it one hand and I'm at a disadvantage. Yeah, Darren, Darren only has use of one of his hands. But I have a feeling he'll still be a good competitor. Alright, grabbing a couple of cardstock options. See which one matches better. We like the blue, and we like the green. They both work. Annette said the fudge cut us great. Oh, thanks, Annette. And Donna R said there was a jewel purse that was popular. It had a good five year run. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh man, that sounds so fun. This time of year always makes me miss my family. 
And of course, you miss the ones that are no longer here. I miss my mom and dad, but then you think about all the fun memories too. And it's fun to make new memories. Okay, I think that will work. And we will go from there. Let's, ooh, you know what? These would be pretty too. If we want it to be softer, that's what I'm kind of debating on. We could do softer ones. I think they might get lost a little bit. No, I don't have time for three cards. Well, yeah, I can still do it because I can just use the, the card base. It's super simple. I can have it done in five minutes. This one, I got to have work first. So let's, let's quickly move along on this one. I love to craft, but I have to tell you, I am not a really fast crafter. That's true. Michelle said they also wrap a Christmas present you have to pass. And have to unwrap the next person has to roll doubles on the dice. And you put on and an elf has to use other as well. Oh, I love it. All right, let's fold it so that I know what we're working with here. I think games are so much fun. I love games anyway, but at Christmas, even more fun. And this year, we're just starting some new traditions, so that's kind of fun, too. Okay, let's, let's just put that on. I'm going to use some foam for this. Let's have it stand out a little bit. And I think I'll just do it on two sides in case we want to add something that we tie. The next day just have to slow craft as you still work on a cradle. Great show ending. Yeah, I didn't finish everything either, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Oh, I've got two different things there. I'm going, tis the season, believe, what? Let's use a longer one. But we gotta put our, our little gems on first. So we're just gonna kinda cover the berries and do our own thing. We're creating our own ending here. Okay, let's see if I can get my little uh, jewel picker. This will save us some time. I love this tool. This is by Gina K. I think we might be out of them right now, but watch for them to come back because this thing, I'm telling you, if you don't have one, you need one. What was that? The game they played called Cold Cold Snowman. It's like hot potato with even the stuffed snowman, he said. Oh cute. Michelle, what are the what um is do you have all generations or do you have like a certain like how old is the youngest and how old is the oldest? Okay, that's where I stopped the glue. Nope, there's some glue there. Penny said, Gina K said on Thursday that those detail things uh -huh. are back in stock, so hopefully Glibber's mom will get them soon. Oh, perfect. Yeah, they sold out fast, didn't they? Because they're amazing. I love those little crafty helpers that just make your life easier. Oops. 
Oh, you have a nice range. That's fun. That's fun. That is fun. That's a good group of variety. A little something for everyone. Tina said she saw one where you had small gifts under coffee mugs turned upside down. She said she sees it again to post it on Facebook. It's too long to explain. Okay, that sounds fun, Tina. I would love that. I'm all about learning some new games. Now, if it were up to me, and keep in mind that it's not, and keep in mind that my family is not going for it, we would sit around and we would sing Christmas carols, but I'm the only one that wants to. Nuh-uh. Daniel and Sierra and Benji can sing. <laughs> You're fun. It, you don't have to be the best singer to sing. You just sing to have fun. Have you heard my voice? It's not. Hey. I love it. Lynette said, I never would have thought those color combinations look so brilliant. You are making me rethink the combinations. Thank you. Oh, how fun. I'm so glad. I, I left you out? Yeah. I know Darren doesn't feel as confident about his voice. He's better than he thinks he is, for sure. But Kathy would sing with me. Kathy? I sing with you, not me. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Kathy. Come on over. I'm telling you, I want to go caroling so bad, but... It just doesn't have the same charm when one person is the only one doing it. People people tend to be a little bit uh, cautious. <laughs> if you start, just show up by yourself and start singing at them. Thanks, Tina. I just, uh, this illustration I think is really pretty. Poop the potato. Two teams. Put a potato in between your legs. Run across the room and poop the potato into a basket. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a game that my uh, my 13-year-old would probably really dig. <laughs> we need to cover that last berry. There's little berries kind of around it, but I don't think we need to worry about those ones. This is the one's kind of in the middle trying to get one that's there we go it's pink on the right side there we go now we just need to add a bow I think don't you I know you're shocked because I I never add bows to anything right <laughs> not a bow let's look at our sentiments too let's grab one of those and then we'll call this one good and I was going to try to do that third one but I can see that I alas I did not make it but I was going to just use this and I was just going to ink blend it and show you just how quickly you've got an amazing card just by ink blending on top of the card panels. But it's kind of like they say your eyes are bigger than your stomach. My inspiration is more than my time. What, honey? Kathy and Donna Art said it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. So we have the black or we can do white. I'm wondering if the white is going to be better. because I don't want to overwhelm it. Let's look and see. Only way we'll know is to try it. Wow, well, Michelle has a lot of games. She says it's I like the white. You put a bunch of things on a tray, have a time limit to try remembering everything on the tray. Take away the tray and write down everything you saw. That's fun. Michelle, I just want to come hang out at your house. Sounds like you've got Parties galore. Kathy said black. Kathy likes black? Yeah. Well. So far, it's only both. I have to rethink it for a minute. Let me cut some more of the black. 
So I have a longer sentiment because those ones are not going to go all the way across the wreath. I kind of like that scene. I don't think Spider Man that track will work. No, probably not. Oh, I kind of like this one. Let's try this one. Nia says, go carol by yourself, Janet. <laughs> anyone ask them, anyone ask, tell them you have a YouTube channel. They don't need to do any crafts, not sing. <laughs> there you go. We should just do like a Zoom caroling party. I'm not sure how that would work because there's the little delay sometimes, right? Isn't there? Is there in a Zoom a delay, Darren? I don't know. I don't know either for sure. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we can all carol to her. Okay. All right, let's add our sentiment. <coughs> and do we want a bow or are we good? Let me let that dry for a second and while it's drying, here's another thing you could do. I'm not going to do it tonight, but you could add some of this really fun, uh, our fabulous fibers. They would be fun if you kind of added them around. And let me grab my ribbon really quick. What have I got here? This might work. No, because that's good. Hang on. I'm just almost done. Just enough that, let's see if we've got. Something to finish it off with a bow. At least if I tie it and see what it looks like, I'll know if we need it or not. Do you know what I'm saying? The Joe said to the plate being... To hold the plate up to your forehead and draw a token Christmas design without looking like a snowman tree or reindeer. That sounds fun. And as Gina said, she has a stack of favorite plates. She's going to try that one solo, like abstract art. <laughs> there you go, Tina. So, a funny thing about my sister and I and drawing. <laughs> my sister and I were banned from being partners at Pictionary because we just read each other's mind too easily and we are creaming everybody. <laughs> so they made a rule that we could not be on the same team for Pictionary. Isn't that funny? We would just draw a little something and we'd just know. I don't know why. We just were always on the same wavelength. Oh, that is a good idea, but I think I'm going to use this green because I've already got it and I'm already out of time. So I think, I think we'll just kind of, what was that? Yeah, I think it'll be okay. There's gold, kind of the gold and the pink together kind of give you the, um, the peach fill. Let's see if I can hold it up. You can see how that kind of goes down. Might have to fuss with that. Michelle, I am telling you, you are so much fun. Queen of Christmas. You are. She's the queen of entertainment. If I ever get stuck on a desert island, that's who I want with me. Help me pass the time. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, well. Ah, oh, thank you. I feel bad that I didn't get to finish this one, but you know, I may just, if it's okay with you, I'll just go ahead and, and make it and put it with these <laughs> and just say, I didn't have time to do this. We'll see. We'll just see. Maybe, yeah, I might save it for, for next week. We'll have to see. I don't know what I'm doing. I think next week I'm doing a, next week I'm doing the inspiration box. So if you want to see 
all of the goodies in the inspiration box for December, next week is a great time for that. And it's a good one. Thank you so much for joining me. And I had so much fun. I can't wait to play all of these games that you guys are, have told us. And um, yeah, a bonus mystery card, Penny. Thank you so much. I'd, I really do appreciate you coming and spending time with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and maybe you'll have some time to do some crafting. I will see you next Friday. Bye.